women's bantamweight matchup between Ronda Rousey and Holly Holm. All right, here she is, the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Holly Holm. It was Melbourne, Australia. It was UFC 193, November 15th of 2015, when Holly Holm effectively changed her life forever. Holly Holm changed her life, but she changed the landscape of mixed martial arts. Yes. She showed that Ronda Rousey was not this unbeatable fighter that everybody thought she was to be. Went out there, set her traps with that lead left hand, used her footwork and movement to walk Rousey right into a beautiful head kick that finished the fight. A multiple time boxing champion, amateur kickboxing background, Holly Holm is just truly something special. And that Rousey win still one of the biggest upsets, betting odds or otherwise, in UFC history. All right, so here is the all-time great, the UFC Hall of Famer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Of course, she took part in the first women's fight in UFC history back at UFC 157. Went on to fame and fortune, her legacy as well established as any woman in the game. I met Ronda Rousey back at the Olympics in 2008 as a young girl became an Olympic bronze medalist. That was unheard of for someone to do that. And she took that star power and that ability to grapple and applied it right to a mixed martial arts career where she not only captured the UFC title, but also defended it on a number of occasions with her patented armbar. Every time Ronda fought, people tuned in, they loved it, it was always exciting. And some wondered if she would ever make this walk again. Well, here is Ronda Rousey back in this arena, and if her pre-fight talk is any indication, she's got a point to prove here tonight. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Rousey is 28, Holm is 38. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Holly the Preacher's daughter. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready All right, so here we go with round one. There aren't many women in this division that can strike with her, but she's got to avoid that ground, I would think, too. She has to, and I think you look back to fights like Ronda Rousey versus Amanda Nunes. Right. Amanda Nunes versus Misha Tate. Fighting these fantastic grapplers, Amanda always maintained distance until she had him hurt. So she needs to follow that game plan. She has to call on her inner lioness in her approach in this fight. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum, and they separate. Oh, big punch land. Oh, now she's got the Thai clinch. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. Going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Switching stances here. Nice kick with the right hand. All right, both women now continuing to try to get a more dominant position here in the clinch. I can hear Dominic Cruz just screaming underhooks. My ears are bleeding a little bit. Yeah, underhook, underhook, underhook. It's the key in that position. You've got to control the underhook to win offensively and control the underhook. Nice entry. All right, so she finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of Rousey's now trying for the Kimura. It's in there deep. There you go. Really remarkable. 
remarkable to watch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to the feet now. Right back to the clinch. Look for the back hand to get very active. Effective punch there by Rousey. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. So just over 20 total strikes have connected for Holly Holm. Double jab there by Rouse. Beautiful body kick. 20 seconds to go in round one. Big kick land. Battling for hooks. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yeah, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Again, in the clinch. That punch will work right through the door. Changes her stance yet again. and it came on the heels of what was a very nice block there by Rousey. Oh, nice connection by her there. And when you cut your opponent around the eye, you gotta go right back at it. And she is doing a great job of showing no mercy. She is landing over and over in that exact spot. Home shot there is blocked. And they separate. Ooh, Superman punch lands. More clinching. Left hand punches the clinch. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting a sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo here. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy tonight. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Beautiful takedown to land. Both fighters get up now. Changes her stance. She blocked the punch. Well, Holmes' lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that. But a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. That is a thudding leg kick. That was a nice strike. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Home gets in the clinch yet again. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Nice punch by Holly Holm. Taken down by Rousey. Finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being accurate, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh! That uppercut landed! See, see there it is. She switched. She switched. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, that's a good strike there by Holm. Rousey gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. now. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Massive kick on the kid. And this might just be a matter of time. Great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. She's very heavy with her top half. So she doesn't worry about the opponent escaping. And this side control is very good for her because she wants to wear on you. She wants you to try to carry all of her weight with your upper body and make a mistake that will lead to a fight ending finish for her. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Holly Hall. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice stick with the right hand. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her. There. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. What a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest for 928. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Holly, the preacher's daughter, Holly. All right, so pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the opening horn tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And as a fan, you understand how important this is in the evolution of someone's career. She did a great job of staying focused, staying the course, and getting a unanimous decision.